Now, when I got this notification that the Ravens hired Adrian Dixon as their new head certified athletic trainer, I was a little bit worried uh, because I saw that he came from the Titans. And I was my first thought that came to my mind was, why, if they are trying to prevent injuries, why would they hire the, the trainer from the team that had even more injuries than the Ravens? But. This is why you should always think before you speak. So I looked, did a tiny bit of research, looked up what Jamison Hensley and Jeff Strebick were saying about him, and this was it. Uh, Jamison Hensley said, New Ravens head trainer Adrian Dixon most recently served as the Titans director of physical therapy and sports rehabilitation. He designed and managed the rehabilitation and treatment programs for injured players also overseeing their progression back onto the field. So he's not here to prevent injuries, so to speak. He's more so to make sure the players recover the right way. And I can appreciate that because both Eric DaCosta and John Harbaugh both said that they will be turning over every stone trying to get this thing right when it came to injuries they will be going through everything that went wrong and trying to correct it making any adjustments that they possibly could and this is a start so I can appreciate this uh, because this is putting action uh, to words because you could go up there on the podium you could talk a good talk but if you're not following through with action then whatever you said means nothing so let's read the uh, statement from the Ravens and Eric DaCosta. It says, we are excited to announce the addition of Adrian Dixon as our new head athletic trainer. Over the course of the last month, after meeting with multiple qualified candidates, it became quite evident that Adrian possessed all the traits and skills necessary to help us become the best player wellness program in the National Football League. We were so impressed by Adrian's uh, servant leadership, his passion for the challenge, and his vision for our training room. Adrian will work closely with Dr. Andy Tucker, our chief medical officer, and lead a talented and respected staff of trainers, including Ron Medlin, Kevin Domboski, and Mike Blankenship, among others. Adrian will start Wednesday and lead us at the Combine next week at Indianapolis. And that's from Eric DaCosta. So, again, I like the move. Um, you're getting somebody that, uh, again, not trying to prevent injuries. Well, actually trying to prevent further injuries because this could help with the Ravens and making sure that when somebody gets hurt, that they are all the way healed when they're on the way back. Because Ravens, obviously from experience, especially last year with Ronnie Stanley, he came back, but he wasn't ready yet. With Nick Boyle, he came back, but he wasn't ready yet. With Derek Wolf, he wasn't ready. So, and then, and, and now this helps for guys that you also got that could help your team next year. And somebody who we just spoke of, Ronnie Stanley. He is probably the biggest question mark heading into the Ravens 2022 season. And the Ravens are paying him a lot of money. He's making a lot of cash. And it's crazy because we always say that timing is everything. It's always, when you look back, it's always crazy how that worked out or how it really didn't work out. Because Ronnie Stanley got his bread, got his contract, and a couple days later, boom, out for the year. And nothing was ever the same after that. So uh, with Ronnie Stanley, you know, the goal for him is obviously to play this upcoming season and play a full season, but just for him to be ready and be all the way ready. Not a 75% Ronnie Stanley, not an 80%, not an 85%, no, all the way ready. He pretty much had the whole season to get right. I know he waited a little while before he decided to do the surgery because um, he wanted to do rehab first, but that wasn't working, so he said, all right, I'll do the surgery. And all right, let's see how it works. So good move by the Ravens. Um, but now I'm interested. So th this is, again, this is the rehabilitation, the physical therapy. This is the get back program for anybody that gets hurt. But I want to see how the Ravens really addressed the preventative program now. How are they going to handle that? Now, I would take a page from the Rams notebook. What I, they were doing something with soccer, and I forgot exactly what it was. But I would just look around the league. And if I was the GM or I was the owner or whatever, I would look around the league and look at teams and look at their track record. I would pull up the analytics on those teams' track records when it came to injuries. 
how many injuries have they had? How many types of injuries, like ACL versus Achilles versus ankle sprint versus all that stuff? And you know, some injuries just happen on a field. It's football. It's a physical sport, so it's going to happen. But I will look to all of that. Look at the injuries. Look at the recovery time. But more so look at what type of injuries those players uh, had happen. And more so look at the, the injuries that those players had happen before the season even started or off the field injuries, so to speak. And I would try to look and examine carefully the details of different teams who face the least amount of injuries. Look at what works for them, uh, what their, their steps are, what their routines are, and just imitate it. And hopefully it'll work for you. Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. We out.